Running a Formula 1 team is no easy task, especially when you're battling with some of the most competitive and tightly run operations in the world. Now each squad consists of nearly 100 plus staff on track and an additional 1000 or so people back at the team headquarters. The responsibility of overseeing everything on a race weekend falls in the hands of one person that is the team principal. Their jobs involves not just managing their crew, but also leading the team's vision for the future in terms of developing their car, selecting the right drivers and making crucial decisions decisions that may affect the team in the long term. As one of the most important people in the team apart from the drivers, let's take a look at what the current F1 team bosses think about this year's title fight and what are their thoughts about Max Verstappen. Mattia Binotto the Italian engineer turned team boss has been at the helm of Scuderia Ferrari since 2019 following the departure of Maurizio Arrivabene. Binotto has always been a part of the team in red and was the chief technical officer before he took the top job. Speaking about Verstappen, he says, Max is a fantastic driver, he's very talented, he's very fast and I think he's a good boy. When asked about who he was cheering for in the championship, Binotto replied, I always cheer for ourselves at Ferrari, but I also cheer for Max because I think it's good for sport to break the status quo. It's an exciting battle. First of all, they are two extraordinary drivers and very talented. If I had to make a bet though, I think Lewis wins. I say this because I think Mercedes wins. They're a solid team and they've shown what they are in recent years. Gunter Steiner Leading the Haas team is Gunter Steiner, who is probably known for his hot-headed nature and his expletive-filled rants on the Netflix show Drive to Survive. Steiner though has quite a lot of experience in the world of motorsport, having previously been the technical director of Jaguar Racing which was taken over by Red Bull. Steiner spoke about his former team's prospects of winning the championship with Max saying, Red Bull is doing a good job and it's possible for Red Bull to win. I think a lot of Max Verstappen especially. He can do it. He has enough experience despite his age to be a champion. He also doesn't need to race as aggressively and attackingly anymore because he has a really good car now. Max is without doubt his top pick with Steiner affirming that Max is the driver to beat. Why? Because he scores more points. Franz Tost A former racing driver himself, Tost has been pivotal in turning around Scuderia Alfa Tori, formerly known as Scuderia Toro Rosso, back from its Minardi days. Under his leadership, the team has seen drivers like Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen rise through the ranks and make their mark in F1. I've known him since his days in karting. He has absolute control of the car and never has a problem with speed. Max cannot be thrown off balance. He focuses from race to race. He wants to win every race. If a collision is to be avoided, then he will. If not, then not. And that's that. There will be some exciting racing scenes in the future. As for me, I would be happy if Max wins the title in the end," said Tost expressing his opinion on this year's championship. Otmar Safnauer Another racing driver who found his calling in managerial tasks, Safnauer has been a part of the now Aston Martin team since 2009 and has been instrumental in the team's improvements over the years. Despite a change in ownership, Safnauer has been a constant fixture in the captain's chair. He has no clear favourites for the championship season and believes that it could go in either direction, stating, It's tricky. Think from a fan's perspective, because I speak to fans often, they find the intrigue in not knowing who's going to win the championship quite entertaining. He further went on to add, Hamilton is very experienced and knows how to win championships. Verstappen, however, is very fast, so we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. We still have a quarter of the season left. After that, we'll know. Jos Capito Taking control from previous team principal Simon Roberts, Capito shoulders the responsibility of carrying forward Frank Williams' legacy in Formula 1 in the form of the Williams Racing Team who managed to score their first point since 2019 this year. Capito has been sympathetic towards Verstappen even though his loyalties lie with engine supplier Mercedes. Speaking after the Monza crash between Hamilton and Verstappen, he mentioned, I don't think it's absolutely right to look for someone to blame, especially when it's not clear. And it wasn't clear here. So you should say, OK, they're racing drivers, so let them drive. While he preferred not to pick sides, Capito shared his thoughts on the battle between the two championship contenders saying, It's part of racing. Things like this have happened in the past. If you had such an exciting battle for the title, something like this always happens during the season. Andreas Siddle 
Having joined McLaren back in 2019 under CEO Zach Brown, Siddle has turned around the team's fortunes and is partly the reason for McLaren's first race win after Hamilton's departure in 2012. Although Siddle hasn't really spoken much about Verstappen, he does believe Verstappen has made Hamilton's campaign much more difficult than the years before, saying, I admire a lot when I look at Lewis, how he manages year by year to pull it off, also when having a car that is maybe not the best one or in a difficult race, to still then be able to strike back at Verstappen and still score important points for the championship, that's something which makes the difference in the end. It's about consistency and performance. Suffice to say, Siddle has placed his bets on Hamilton winning the championship once again and believes his own driver Lando Norris has a lot to learn from Hamilton. Toto Wolff Managing the team all the way through the turbo hybrid era, Toto Wolff has an unbroken track record of winning seven consecutive constructors' championships. His leadership and guidance as both team principal and CEO has helped Mercedes stay on the top for the last seven years, hoping to achieve a similar result in their toughest year ahead. Wolff has always had a keen eye on Verstappen, having nearly signed the young driver to the team. Max is also doing a fantastic job. He's probably driving better than the car is actually capable of bringing. Max is definitely a fantastic fantastic star for the future, but he's not alone," quoted Wolf on his assessment of Max. Shedding light on what he felt about the 2021 title fight, he said, It's great that we have a fight between two outstanding drivers and the championship has swung in both directions. Yes, we love the battle. It's just what the doctor ordered after the past seven years. Frédéric Vasseur In a long career of working in various Formula series, Vasseur has achieved tremendous success with outfits like ASM, ART Grand Prix, Spark Racing Technology and Renault F1 team before joining the Alfa Romeo Sauber team. Having witnessed both Hamilton and Verstappen in their early stages, Vasseur talked about the Dutch driver saying, I remember Max perfectly when he was racing go-karts. He went directly to F3 where he was strong. He has become stronger and stronger in F1, maybe not in terms of pure pace, but in terms of everything else, he's a strong guy who gets the job done. However, Vasseur feels differently about the current battle, stating, It's difficult to know that. It's a very tight fight. Every single small event could decide the championship, but I will say Lewis to make it 1-1 with Gunter. I think Lewis was able to manage this kind of situation in 2007 and 2008. He's a competitor, and I have no fear for him. He will be a fighter until the end. Christian Horner the Red Bull team boss is undoubtedly one of Max's biggest supporters, and has backed Verstappen who has more than managed to live up to the team's expectations throughout the years. With a competitive car in hand, Horner looks forward to winning the Drivers' Championship with Max and bringing Red Bull back to its former glory. Speaking about his driver, Horner revealed, I think his maturity has increased. We saw that during the course of last year. He's just much more rounded through experience. He's just more worldly, more experienced. He's just in a better place to be able to deal with the pressures that are placed on him. On being quizzed about what he felt about the driver's standings at the moment, Horner responded, The fact that Max is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him is probably something Lewis hasn't had throughout his career, certainly through the championship years. There's nothing with this degree of intensity. There's obviously a lot at stake for Lewis as he's going for a record-breaking eighth championship. Max is going for his first, and he knows he's got many more years to come.